let's have an another example where we understand the process of doping the silicon material so as shown in this image we see that there is a silicon items right over here and as shown each silicon items have four electrons one two three four they are called silicon valence electrons so each silicon atoms have four such electrons in their outer orbits now because of this you see that they form a covalent bonding as shown over here an electron in its outer shell of each silicon atom will form a bond to its neighboring electrons which is present in the outer shell of its neighboring silicon atom so the bonding is shown now imagine we add an external impure material to this silicon material which is a pure form of semiconductor so that impurity also has atomic structure so let's say that impure material is boron so when we add a boron atom as shown over here right here so the boron has three valence electrons in its outer shell unlike silicon which has four valence electrons boron has only three valence electrons so three of them will form a covalent bond with the electron valence electron of silicon atom but there will be a deficiency or void of one atom one electron as boron has only three electrons so that deficiency or void or absence of electron will not be able to form a covalent bonding right over here so that void will create instead a hole opposite of electron so such type of process will create many many voids into the structure and therefore such material after adding the boron impurity will have many many holes in the structure so this type of doping process will create a p type semiconductor which is called as p type material